On this edition of Check 6 Aviation, a violation notice in progress on the shed, otherwise known as the Airplane Factory version 1.0, along with some Oshkosh clips. Welcome back, my friend. It has been a long while. Oshkosh has been is in the can for 2022, and after being out on the road for three months, wow, yeah, three months, um, I got a chance to spend a couple weeks at, at the house, or about a week and a half though, while the truck was getting some body work done, and I made some progress. So let me update you on what uh, we've done. I didn't really show it, but uh, here, if you go to my Instagram feed, I post a lot of stuff over there first before I make a video here. So it's more, in the Instagram feed, it's more in real time. So yeah, I did go ahead and rent a mini excavator and we went ahead and got uh, the power lines. The tr you know, I had dug a trench before, but it just wasn't adequate enough. Uh, the sweet look of progress. Finally, we'll have power to Airplane Factory version 1.0. Unfortunately, it's at the cost of cutting an internet cable. Oops. Yeah. I'm not as good at this as I thought I would, might be, but that's okay. But I went ahead and got the power lines all ready in the ground and connected well the, there's nothing connected in the box yet it's just the lines are the the yeah uh, the wires are just there but everything is sunk new seed is is planted and i have started on the saw the uh soffit boards and earlier this morning my wife my wife and i got the last four pieces of paneling up on the outside exterior and I started on working on the doors here but uh, oh and I decided to change out the the hinges for from the interior hinge because well those weren't going to work as well not with the the paneling on the outside uh, to what you see there and I've, I'll do the same on the other door on the other side when I get back home, whenever that is, because, well, let's face it, I'm going to, through the jaws into the belly of the beastie, heading to Florida. And we both know what went on there recently. Ian was not very nice. Thankfully, he's gone. Poof. As a matter of fact, Jimmy from Jimmy's World did a flyover of the devastation from Hurricane Ian. Go ahead and click the link up there and check out that video. Uh, and so, so you never know who you're gonna run into at air shows. <laughs> yeah, I've got, you know, this guy really needs no introduction here, but you know. The, the, the infamous. The, the infamous <laughs> Mike Patey with Scrappy in the background. And of course, Jimmy, James Webb here, Mr. I buy a I buy a Cessna 310 and <laughs> pretend to save the 310. <laughs> hey, one made it here. All right, <laughs> Captain kicking the shins. <laughs> so, so Mike, I gotta ask you. Yes, sir. Scrappy or Draco? Ooh, which kid do you like better, your your boy or your girl? <laughs> I, there, there's no answer to that. I love them both. And the, fortunately, I get to bring Draco back, so we're gonna bring him back. Yes. Bigger, yes. better, leaner, meaner, faster, stronger. Fix it, fix you know, it, the, break the dragon it, cannot entry. lay down much longer. Fix it, break it. <laughs> Build it, break it, bring him back. What is it? Thought better, faster, whatever, I don't know. Machine yep. it, draft it, build it, break it, test it. Every Thank time you. something new gets built, the whole world advances. That's How right. about that? There you go, there you go. <laughs> I was so, like, that sounds familiar. Oh, wait, it's mine. <laughs> that's right. wait, that sounds really smart. Who said that? Oh, wait, I did. I was like, yeah. Oh, and, now I know what it is. And, and, and you know you know who else said, said, said something really smart? Yeah. Always 
check your six. <laughs> if you want to, if you really want to help out my channel and see it grow, like a lot of people have said, and I appreciate everyone that watches the you know, the content that I put up, then give me a like, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to turn on notifications so you don't hit, so you don't have uh, any missed videos. You know that way. Whenever I post something, and it's not as often as some other YouTubers because I'm out on the road a lot. And I do my best to get stuff out when I'm on the road. But it's, it's all about focusing on getting the loads to the, where they're going on time and getting the next load, you know, booking the next load. Uh, because I'm, I'm an independent. I'm not, I don't work for a company. I mean, I work with a company, but uh, uh, outside of that, <laughs> those are the free, free ver ways to support uh, this channel, support the work that I'm, I'm doing. Those are the free ways. If you really want to, you know, go ahead and contribute some of your cold hard cash, then there's Patreon. But we also have a merch store. You can go ahead and get yourself some cool check six aviation merch that is for sale via redbubble i'll post a link in the comments below you can also check out that link up there if well actually no i'll post a link in the comments below uh yeah all right so i gotta ask um any plans on entering scrappy and some stole or what, or are you too afraid that you would just blow everyone else away ah uh, no that won't happen so the, the Scrappy is not a great stole plane. Scrappy takes, uh, it lands really slow. So it does great at landing, about 50 feet um, landing. It's the slowest flying airplane I've ever owned, period. The wing's unbelievable, but it's a big, heavy plane. It's a touring Suburban filled with batteries, fuel, motorcycles, and all the weight it took to be able to do that. Um, it takes like 150, 200 feet to get airborne. That's not a competition plane but it's a, definitely a go anywhere plane with all your stuff. So it's not, not you, you can't compete. Uh, this plane weighs 2,500 pounds. It will never compete with a 700 pound airplane. Just one. Okay. And but so, it will go all the same places when we're going and having fun. Right on, right on. So how do you know that you've been watching too many of my videos? When you wake up at night going, back to work, back to work. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the violation notice? Well. We got, I get this thing, the, these emails from the US Postal Service uh, notifying me of what's coming in the mailbox. And I got this violation you know, notice in the mail. At first I thought it was, whoops, I'm in trouble for what I'm doing back here. But thankfully it was just because the city doesn't like me parking my truck out in front of my property. Go figure. This is a problem across America. The I'm not I'm not to get off of a, on a non-aviation non related tangent here, but um, truck parking is an issue. Imagine playing musical chairs, but with trucks, and it's a nationwide problem. And except for every chair, which is a parking spot. There are 11 people trying to get that chair. Yeah. So it, it really, there, believe it or not, there's people out there that believe that truck drivers are criminals, apparently. Uh, they, they don't want the traffic. I can understand that. But, you know, they'll take, our, they'll take the stuff that we're bringing them, but they want us to leave right away. And for the most part, we do. But what happens when it's time to come home? Most municipalities have zoning laws that prohibit parking commercial vehicles over a certain gross vehicle weight within a residential area. And with the streets that are narrow, I can understand that. Um, but in my location, Abilene, Texas, uh, where I live, 
I can safely park my truck and not be a nuisance for tra to traffic because it's it's like pretty much on the edge of town. But that's another fight for another day. I'm actually going to pl I'm actually planning on attending a city council meeting and addressing this. Uh, but by all means, if you have any ideas on how I can go ahead and and fight this or at least bring attention to that then leave a comment down below uh, I know that I'm going to do my level-headed best to uh, go ahead and address this but for now we just dodged a bullet but outside of that you, he you hear the truck running you hear the truck running she's ready to go got to get out of here so until next time peace and always Check your six.